Hey guys, uh, this is Mick. Man, I get excited sometimes when it comes to real estate. So here, uh, completely unfortunate situation. A guy was building a house, and unfortunately he passed away during the process. And uh, basically here's what we've got. We've, you've pretty much got a brand new house. I mean, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is amazing. Really quiet area. I'm here at... What time is this? Quarter past 12 on a Wednesday, Thursday. Lots of rentals in this area. A lot of people who live here are renting. These people across the street, two bedrooms, small place, they rent for like 600 bucks. Uh, that house right there was renting for 800 bucks a month. Uh, so, you know, lots of rentals around here. A couple double wides, maybe one right here or one, I think I can see. And this house used to actually be a double wide, uh, as you can see right there, and I was actually just on that. That comes with it, by the way. You get it with it. That's a foundation, extra foundation. Comes with the price. <laughs> uh, but anyway, need to pave this thing. And let me take you inside. Listen. Absolutely nothing's done inside. You gotta do everything inside. Okay? Simple as that. But the outside is done. So let me just I guess let me take you outside first. Just the windows alone in the house, uh probably worth you know, three grand. And the siding ten. There's a couple of little I think that's called soffit or something right there. There's a couple little things in the exterior that need to be done. There's a little siding that needs to be finished off. The backyard. It's got like a nice looking shed back here. So there's some siding up there that just needs to be finished. But this is about as uh, generic siding as you get, so it's very, very easy for you to duplicate this. Here you go. Here's your uh, extra foundation that comes with the property. Extra foundation. All right. You have to dump this thing out. Pool foundation. I guess there needs to be a pool here. There's the side of the house. So uh, let's go inside. Basically, this house is set up for three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms. Unfortunately, there is no garage for parking. So, you know, once you move this thingy, I, mean, I don't even know how you get rid of this thing. I guess you chop it down and get rid of it. Um, All right, so let me take you inside. No, you gotta be careful when you're walking in this thing. It's a little wobbly to me, but yeah, got gotta finish some stone work out. The guy was doing a nice job. That's just really sad. Building the house and apparently died of cancer. Oh yeah. All right, so. You basically need to come in here, do all, you know, you need to put insulation in, drywall. You just got to finish this thing up. I mean, uh, you know, it's a decent sized project, but it's not, uh, I mean, you will have a brand, brand spanking new house. Ceramic tile. I don't know if there's any stuff left over, but he was pretty much putting ceramic tile everywhere, as you can tell. You know, um, not quite sure where the bathroom was going to be down here. There was going to be a half bathroom down here. Oh, there you go. This must be the half bathroom right here. Okay. And this was probably going to be the kitchen. Yes. Positive. This is going to be the kitchen, I presume. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. 
Well, whatever. Your choice. What you want to do. You know? Little uh, deck to your next foundation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Comes with it. Comes with the health. All right, let's go upstairs. All right, big step here. Oh, I hope this guy uh, built it well enough. That would be quite terrible, and it would suck to have me recording this and watch me cr crash down some of these steps. But all right. So, there you go. Just, it's all framed up. You got to put in insulation, drywall, and, you know, plumbing, electrical, all that kind of junk. So, room number one. Room number two, master bedroom. Room number three, bathroom probably. Um, closet. Obviously there's attic space as well. Okay. So if you have ever had the desire to uh, build something, if you like those uh, Legos and Erector sets, <laughs> uh, this, this is a project for you. Okay? So, you know, this is Mech. Again, uh, to reach me, you can call me, 9601. Uh, better yet, email me. Uh, Mick, M-I-K-K, at RehabVault.com, and that's R-E-H-A-B, Vault, like a bank vault, V-A-U-L-T.com. Or, uh, you know, to see videos of this property and many other ones that I have that you can buy at extremely, extremely discounted prices, visit RehabVault.com, RehabVault.com. And, uh, you know, give me a call. Uh, this is going to be... Um, you know, a nice property for the right person. You know, decent area. It's a project. It's definitely a project. But the nice thing is you're not fixing anyone else's mistakes. You're just getting this thing uh, built. That's cool. Uh, I'm not sure what that is right there. Oh, that's just a little cross face. I guess that's where the... Okay, there you go. That's where the little porch was. All right.